The weather's much better now, and even though the grass is full of bunny poop, you know, I figured today would be a great day to try my first cartwheel. And I'm as sick as poop myself, so that's why my voice is disgusting. <laughs> Anywho, despite all the weird stuff I do with hand balancing and contortion and the mixture of that, I've never tried a cartwheel before, so I'm gonna learn today. If I don't keep getting distracted by all the planes that pass, that is. <laughs> I was a little bit spooked by the prospect of a cartwheel, but I just had to tell myself it can't be that hard, just draw yourself into it, right? With that stellar advice in mind, I just went for it, and I didn't completely suck at it, so you know, that's a bonus. Now that my initial apprehension of the unknown was out of the way, I figured, you know, it's not that hard, right? I'm gonna keep doing it until I get it perfect. Why not? I mean, I was feeling super sick with a bunch of body aches and there are bugs everywhere, there's poop in the grass, you know, perfect conditions for a cartwheel, right? On top of that, I even spotted some dog poop, so that was lovely. I was definitely feeling a little more comfortable doing a cartwheel now and more professional, so you know, of course I kept at it. They had to be perfect. So when I got to the point where I felt they were halfway decent, like this one, I figured, you know, one more, one more for good luck, one more to top it off, the cherry on top, and I had to make it perfect. And since I felt so sick, and it was hot, and it was gross outside, I wanted this one to be the last one, and I wanted it to be good, so I put all my mental energy into it. And there we have it, folks. The best cartwheel that I will be able to produce today. And despite feeling like crap, I actually found cartwheels to be pretty fun. And I couldn't help but be a little proud of myself that, you know, first try wasn't so terrible and that I did not break anything. With all that exertion over, it was now time for me to wash the rabies from my hands and throw myself back into bed.